Hey everybody, how you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. Got all my chores done. Everything. I do it as fast as I can so I can start painting. <laughs> it is always uh, my main goal every morning. Wake up, brush my teeth, take a shower if I have to. You know, hygiene stuff. Get my chores done. And split outside <laughs> to my shed. So here I am. Anyway, don't want to take too long here. This painting was, people asked me to show it after it dried. And this was the house paint one. With that sort of Payne's Gray and what did I use? Quinacridone Magenta or something. I can't quite remember. Uh, anyway, it turned out great. No cracks, no nothing. So that was pretty cool, I think. I like it. So I wanted to show you one of my other paintings. I actually had two of them that turned out the same way, which was years ago. Well, not years ago. I don't know why I said that. About a year ago, I did this one. And almost exactly the same way. So. Yeah, it wasn't that the house paint that gave it that effect. It just happens. And what I think happens is all your paints are like one paint is thinner than the other to get this effect. That's what I'm thinking. But anyway, this is one that I did a long time ago. Just thought I'd show you that. It does happen without the house paint. This was totally acrylic. I think it was denim or something. I'm not real sure. And rosebud. Almost sure about that. So this was a cool one. And I sold the other one I had. And then anyway, the other night when I was freezing out here, like a weirdo. <laughs> so look what happened. These weird little specks. Now, they're not cracks. There's not cracks. Okay? So, it didn't crack, but it got these weird stuff. Whatever you want to call it. So, I'm kind of bummed about that, but it's all good. I kind of figured that might happen. It was cold out here. And that paint was cold. I mean, it wasn't... It was like 36 degrees. Yeah. So... That's too bad, even though it, some people might still like it, but I'll, I'll wait till this cures, you know, another week or two, and then I'll paint over it. There's no doubt about that, because that kind of ruined it. To me, it did. Well, that was pretty cool, though. I did love the way that that, what was that, too? Quinacridone Magenta did that. So it still turned out bright and everything it didn't get dark. I thought it was going to get real dark. But this happened, so that's a bummer. Totally went the wrong way that I thought it would. All right, we'll get started here. I have an 8x10. I'm just going to do a flip cup. With all these little leftovers I have sitting here. So we'll see what happens, okay? Hold on just a sec so I can get this the cups ready. Okay, so yeah, I think that try it once and see what happens. Just do like a, more one color and try to be like your white or your black. I guess it really don't matter, to be honest with you. Just one color thin compared to all the rest. And I think that's what happens with a lot of that lacing look. I don't know for sure, but I've kind of seen it happen quite a bit, so... Okay, so I'm going to go lots of white there. Well, not a whole lot. I just need about four ounces. That's three ounces. Four. All right, what do I have? I don't know. Jeez, I have no idea what this one is. Blue. Oh. This looks like that peacock. That's exactly what that looks like. That's cool. And 
And then what do we have here? Huh. <clears throat> Mixture. I know that because I put like light violet, purple, quinacridone, magenta, mixture. And let's go with a touch of black. Okay, and then this was that dioxazine purple that we used yesterday on that, what do you call it? Oh, what was that called? Balloon smash. <laughs> it's one of those things my brain just don't want to wrap around there. Okay. So that's a goner. And then this was jeez teal maybe or that turquoise. Um, I don't know. It looks metallic-y, though. So that's why I'm thinking this is that metallic teal. Ooh, that looks pretty in there. Let's put a lot. Alright, and then... This is that pretty deep turquoise. I'm gonna just use the rest of that up. We'll just... Hey, this might turn out pretty. I don't know. I don't know if it's going to sell up or not because there might be different consistencies. Who knows? And this is a little bit of quinacridone magenta which always varies. And then let's go some more white. And that's plenty of paint. But I do have to have no, I'm not going to put no more black. So that's plenty paint right there. And that's pretty too. That's real pretty. Okay. The cup is squished. Oh, well, the cup is squished. On the sides. And I got in the easy. I don't know what I'm going to do today. I really don't. I have no idea. I have a sixteen, a twelve by sixteen canvas here. I was thinking about doing something on or sixteen by twenty. I still got two of my twenty-four by thirties, but I still don't know what I want to do with those either. I have no idea. This painting was an old painting, and what I had done is paint over it, like with my roller brush. And then I let it cure for about a week or two, so that that don't come up. I don't want to do that to a lot of paintings, that way the people are not like, Oh, you trying to corn over there. <laughs> and you know what, let me put... I'm not mocking you guys, I promise. I gotta put the level this baby. There we go. Okay. And my door is open, so hopefully we're not getting a glare. Oh, that thing is stuck. Oh, I'm gonna have to pop a little hole in there. There. That should help now. There we go. Make sure I don't burn my finger there. Okay. okay. Hopefully that's enough paint. It should be. Ooh, it looks pretty. be a pretty one. Look 
cups are always unpredictable. So I'm going to go with my favorite part first. Where's my favorite part? I guess this side. Some off my fan here. Get that area. And then I'll go with this corner. Yeah, I always use a canvas over again if it's clean underneath. If it has spots, I can't seem to do it. Usually they only get spots too is when something's not working for me. And I'm pouring over it like 10 times. <laughs> I'm going to close that door. There. Go with this corner and then get this rid of this probably last. Yeah, I've kind of learned to go with my favorite part first because as long as you don't lose it, then you can tip off your last part that you don't like last. Don't always work, but. I barely made it in the paint situation here. Bring that to the middle. This is pretty. Yeah, I'm going to be a stretcher. A little bit. So there we go. There goes that area I didn't like too much. There we go. That's pretty. Let me get this side here. Alright. So that's tripping. Very pretty. I like it. Checking the sides. Alright, let's see if it'll speck up torching it. Where's my rag? Here. That is pretty. Oh, it's those colors. You can't go wrong with those colors. I don't see any of the black though. See? It might start. There's a spot or two. Oh, yeah, that's specked up. I don't want that. Little specks. It'll develop cells on its own. So let's give it some time. I'll pause it and then we'll check it out. Okay. Been about three, four minutes. It's really not selling up at all. About the same, I think. Um, and there's not a lot of paint on here, so I think it just sunk. I don't even see the quinacridone. I see the purpley, maybe a little bit of that magenta in there. And where's the black? That's right here. <laughs> eh. Flipping bag drags are not flipping drags. The flip cups are always fun though. 
It does have a shimmer to it, though. It's pretty. It reminds me of like a nebula or something like that, you know? It's pretty cool. Not too bad. I like it. It's a keeper for sure. This is so pretty. I love these colors in there. They look so much brighter in the camera, though, and they're really, it's, there you go. See, now it has that darker blue. That's that deep turquoise. Isn't that funny? So it may kind of surface some cells over time. I didn't want to torch it because when I did do that first little torch, a few little specks, white specks, and I don't want those. Even though they may have turned into cells, but I'm happy with it the way it is. It's pretty cool. Okay, so yeah, flip cups are always fun. You know, especially with leftovers. So, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I'm going to sit here and try to figure out what I'm going to do. What do I want to paint? What do I want to tackle? So... All right, take it easy. Thank you for watching. Like, share, and subscribe if you like that. And have a good day. I will catch you later. Bye-bye.